You're nearly there, Peter. I got it, Mom. Thanks, baby. Ugh. Another headache? <sighs> Just a little one. Stop worrying. It's fine. Just took me by surprise. I wish I could help. I know you do. Some things, Peter. They're not yours to control. I better get that prescription before the pharmacy closes. Stay out of trouble till I get back, okay? Be good. I know that's not always easy for you. I'll be a perfect little angel, like always. Hmm. I better hurry back then. I'll be back soon. Hey, Pete. Hey, Mr. Pinkle. Here to get that mixtape copied? Yeah. Sure is a nice thing to do for your mom. How's she doing, anyway? She's fine. Well, glad to hear it. Both sides? Come back in about an hour, and it'll be ready. Hey, Petey! You make that mix for your boyfriend? <laughs> I made it for your mom. Watch it, or you'll be swallowing your own teeth. Afraid I'm gonna break it again? <laughs> you afraid I'm gonna hit you again? <laughs> Listen to you. Pretending you got balls. Hey, how's that lip doing? Give me that. What are you doing here anyway? You don't have money. Everyone in town's talking about it. Your mom can't even pay her medical bills. She's been going door to door asking for help like some pathetic loser. She's probably off looking for change in the sewers right now. Yeah, maybe she'll get lucky and find a quarter. Don't make me hit you. Oh, you're threatening me now? Go on, take a swing. I won't even feel it. You gonna cry now? Huh? What are you gonna do about it? You done yet? Elephant ears? You must get great reception with those things. Nah, I'm not done. But your mom? She sure is. My dad goes drinking with her doctor. Told him everything. Guess she didn't feel like it was important enough to tell you. Oh, check it out! Dead woman walking! What's the point? Drugs ain't gonna help. My dad says you're gonna die anyway. My mom's gonna be fine. She just needs the right medicine. Get her some poison. At least then she won't be wasting money trying to get better. Get out! My dad's gonna- Out! You kept your promise. You didn't fight that jerk. I'm proud of you, Peter. Even though I didn't set a very good example. The things he said. I let my emotions get the better of me. You slapped him. That was awesome. No, that was not awesome, Peter. He said you were dying, Mom. Is that true? Find me, please. You're so close, Peter. <sighs> what the? How did I get home?
Gamora! Gamora, are you okay? Because this temple is really messing with my head. Hello, Gamora. <gasps> Whoa, hey, Gamora. Come on, what? Nebula. What are you doing? You can do better than that. Not Nebula. It's me, Peter, who you like a whole lot and definitely do not want to kill. Come on, this isn't fair! I don't have a sword! Nebula. You need to be aware of everything around you. Perception's just as important as strength and speed. None of them are important when I'm stuck here. I want to use what you've taught me somewhere outside of this room. I'm sick of just doing the same thing over and over, every single day. I know you think you want this. But once you've taken a life, there's no going back. Thanos will make you kill again and again, and pretty soon that's all you'll be. A murderer. At least I'd be something. <laughs> Looks like you've lost your touch. <laughs> Hardly. A little impressive. <laughs> Just a little. I can't. Gamora, you're hurting me. <sighs> Great. Nebula. You have grown so much. Father. You may yet be the greatest assassin in the galaxy. Don't you agree, Gamora? <laughs> I do. She's come a long way. What a pleasant surprise. Perhaps being bested by your sister recalled the importance of humility. I have a mission for you. You will go to a Kree outpost on the planet of Phalion. There you will find General Tarval. He has come into possession of something I require. A device. Gamora, you will fetch the device for me. You, Nebula, you will kill the General. Thank you, Father. I, I promise you, I will succeed. I know you will, daughter. Gamora, you were always my favorite. But you have become cold, distant, forcing me to look to Nebula to tighten the slack. Whether I believe she's capable or not. We will not disappoint you, Father. But you already have, Gamora. Otherwise, you would not be taking Nebula with you. Go and prepare. You will head out immediately. And Gamora, I know you no longer care. But if you fail, your sister will pay for your missteps. Tell Nebula I wish to speak with her.
Is everything all right? What's going on? I couldn't hear you, but Father... He didn't look happy. Everything is fine. Don't worry about it. Everything's fine. That's not what it looked like. Nebula! Come here! This is it. My chance to prove myself. Or fail miserably. <sighs> Don't worry, Nebula. I've got your back. No. I I've got to do this myself. It's what I've been training for. I won't let Father down. Let's just do this. Nebula! Nebula, are you all right? Are you hurt? Why? Why did you do that? What? I had him. That was my kill and you took it from me! Father will be so upset with me. I won't tell Thanos, I promise. We'll keep it to ourselves. Father... Give me the device. Nebula, what are you doing? You took my kill. Give me the device in exchange. Give it to me, now! I'm not asking here. Do it! Fine. Here. Hey, it's going to be fine. We're going to be okay. You 
tried to stab me. So maybe we're even. Perhaps. I don't know what happened. One minute you and I were walking into the temple, and the next yeah, I was... Yeah, I, uh, I know. Wait, were you... Did you see all that? My memory? Are you okay? I've been trying not to think of that day. Because I really want to fix things with Nebula. But seeing that... She thought I was being selfish. Taking away everything she worked so hard to achieve. That's why she turned on me. And why she'll never forgive what I did. I saw what happened. You were just trying to protect her. You can't blame yourself for that. I'm not so sure. That last moment, it became everything. All I remembered of her. But there were times we were happy. Despite Thanos, despite everything, we had each other. Maybe, maybe I could have done more. Been more honest with how I was feeling. Stop just seeing her as someone I needed to protect. Gamora, she didn't want your help. She wanted to prove herself on her own, even if it meant hurting you. I know, but... Nebula is who she is because of me. That hatred, that coldness, her inability to trust anyone. She is Thanos' daughter. Who else could she be after I betrayed her? I failed her. Listen to me. You didn't fail her. You don't fail at anything. You are the strongest person I know, okay? And I respect the hell out of you for that. And I don't just mean the ass kicking. I mean, believe me, you kick some serious ass. I do kick a lot of ass, huh? Hell yeah, you do. Now, come on. Let's figure out why the Forge brought us here before things get even more... weird. Oh, man. My mom loved this song. She played that record non-stop. Peter, wait. This place, it seems to be using our memories against us. We don't know what we'll find inside, or why it's been drawing us here. Yeah, well, if anything goes wrong, you'll be here to protect me, right? You're not saying anything, and it's super worrying. Gamora, seriously? Yeah. This is where my mom... Uh, this is where I saw her last. I don't know what all this means, Peter. But I hope somehow you get your mom back. Thanks for... Uh, for understanding. She's your family. Your real family. I know how much she means to you.
That looked so, so painful. Are you okay? Yes. Now that you are here, not your mom, right? Definitely not. You... you came for me. After all these... Ooh, what are these? They're very shiny. Hey, over here. Ah, <sighs> Peter Quill. You're really here. It's been centuries. No, millennia. How do you know who I am? We have met. But I was not me. I am called Mantis. be for a moment uh yeah sure what I have another one you uh, you're welcome it is so wonderful to be free of that tomb no longer trapped in my own mind alone you are truly the hero the legends foretold so brave and handsome though Perhaps not in the classical sense. What? Ha! You must have many questions for me. Take your time. So these, uh, legends about me, what are they? I mean, I know a few already, but, uh, this one might be new. You don't know? Oh, how unexpected! I have been waiting for you all this time. The moment you touched the forge, I knew you were the celestial one, that you could free me. So I reached out to you the only way I could, through your memories. The ones most vivid to you, but you must understand, I had no control over them. I... Oh no, that is not what I wanted at all. I am so sorry. I truly did not know you'd feel so violated. I'd hoped you would feel glad to see her again. I did not mean for my abilities to hurt you. I... You're welcome. How could you possibly know how he feels? I can show you, angry lady. Oh, no. Never mind. May I show you? Please, I mean no harm. Watch. Peter Quill is filled with worry about you. He likes when you hit people. Is that right? Do it again! Do it again! Come on! With great pleasure! Oh, this isn't going to go well. You and your friends truly are special. No wonder you are the ones to hold the Eternity Forge. It is an honor to be among you. You see, I am an empath. I can read the emotions of others. It is my duty to help the Celestial One decide the fate of the Forge. That could really come in handy. <laughs> oh, she's got to meet the rest of the group. Yeah. Introduce an emotionally charged being to a group who are emotionally sensitive. <laughs> who should we try on first? I got just the one. I am Groot? 
This tree man has profound love and affection for everyone in this room. I am Groot. Oh, not everyone. Some of you he has mixed feelings about. <clears throat> he is pleased that someone can understand his true feelings. Mantis is an empath, Groot. She can sense your emotions. She's also the one who made us relive our memories. That was you? We went halfway across the galaxy, got chased by that psycho Hala for a party trip? It is my job to guide the Celestial One. What the hell does that mean? The Celestial One? You messed with our minds. Why? I am Groot. She knows about the Eternity Forge. She says she's connected to it. That's supposed to make me less confused? Oh, I can explain. Long ago... Wait, we... wait, wait. Are you gonna spew some long mumbo-jumbo about where you come from and why I should care? Yes. Is that a problem? Remember Thanos? Going on like, now that I got this, I'm gonna roll through the galaxy like a giant turd and blah, blah, blah. The answer is magic. It's always magic. Well, I, for one, want to hear it. All of it. Then it's time for a nap. Go ahead, Mantis. Enlighten us. Of course, Peter Quill. I have communicated only through my feelings for years. It is nice to communicate with my mouth. <laughs> Eons ago, the Eternity Forge coalesced into existence as a way to balance the life energy of the universe. To create, you must destroy. And to destroy, you must create. But such colossal power cannot be wielded oh, yeah, boy, lightly. Boy, 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 boy. So I was brought in to ensure that the forge was only wielded by someone deserving and to help guide the wielder down the right path. But I waited and waited. Years went by. Many unworthy tried to use the forge. Some even tried to force me to help them. The Kree decided that no culture had matured enough to use the forge with the wisdom required. Eventually, the Forge and I were separated, locked away until the time when civilizations could reach the peak of wisdom and maturity. And that is only the beginning. Well, thanks a lot for that, Pete. Hmm, what an interesting and relevant story. Aren't you glad we heard it all, champ? Someday, Quill, I'm gonna blast you out an airlock. I have not yet gotten to the most important part. Kill me. There is a legend of the Celestial One, the Chosen One who shall arrive from the stars to use the Eternity Forge. This Celestial One, what are they like? Advanced intellect, emotionally mature, wise being capable of navigating the dark waters of immense power. Someone who can see beyond his own selfish desires to choose for the greater good. That's... <laughs> that describes me pretty perfectly. <laughs> hey, come on, guys. Hey, knock it off. <laughs> it is not funny. Peter is the celestial one. Oh, you're so full of crap, lady. If Pete is this celestial what's-it, then why didn't the stupid forge work? Sure, it brought him back. But when we tried to use it again on someone else, it didn't do a damn thing. Your loss. I can feel it has been with you for some time. The forge is limited right now. It can only restore life to a body that is mostly whole and undeteriorated. <sighs> I am gross. You said, right now. Now, does that mean that things might be different later? Yes. You can change everything. How? The Celestial One must deliver the Forge to the Sacred Shrine. There, you can unlock its true power. Or destroy it forever. And that true power is what? Returning anyone, from any time period, back to the realm of the living. Lost ones, loved ones, I suppose hated ones, too, if you were so inclined. 
though I do not know why. That seems ill-advised. You can bring back anyone? Like, anyone at all? Anyone who ever existed can be brought back, so long as you have the required energy, of course. One life for one life. So someone still has to die for the thing to work. Then let's finish our drinks and go use this thing. Yes! Really? Who are you planning to kill? Well, you're kind of annoying me right Hala now. Hala wants to use this forge to raise her army. We have to destroy Not it. until my family is returned I to me. I am Groot. I Groot says he's on my side. That's three to one, Gamora. We win. That is not true. Groot feels the opposite. Uh, I mean, maybe something got lost in translation. Hey, hey, you try understanding I am Groot all the time. Those three words can mean anything. I can't believe I never thought to ask this question until now, and it's terrifying me. Do you even understand, Groot? Of course I do. I'm sorry, I just don't want that thing destroyed until we use it. It was a one-time thing. I am Groot? Okay, a two-time thing. So, it is a tie then. Two for using it. I am Groot. I'm gonna take a guess. He said two for destroying it. Don't you get what this means? We can bring back anyone that we lost. At a cost. No cost is too high. Wow. Uh, okay, this is, uh, <laughs> there's a lot to process here. Kind of heavy on the responsibility, you know? It's, let me think on it. <laughs> well, one way or another, this all ends at the shrine. Can you take us there, Mantis? I have never been, but with your help, I believe I can sense its location. May we have some space to concentrate? Gladly. If anyone needs me, I'll be emotionally unavailable. And that's new. Ha ha ha. What are you doing? Helping? Hmm. Maybe it is best if you sit still. Right, of course. <sighs> I cannot sense the shrine. There is... So much unrest among your crew. Their emotions are overwhelming me. They look to you for guidance. Help them. Hey there, Groot. Oh. Is that a friend of yours? I am Groot. But I'll tell you this. We're all gonna be okay. No matter what happens with the Forge. I am Groot. Hey, bud. What's up? Well, if it ain't Captain Indecision... What? Are you... I, I don't know what's holding you back from doing the right thing here, Quill. I mean... I can count on one paw how many folks ever get a chance to bring back someone they love. I am Groot. I'm not gonna kill someone to use this thing. End of story. You already did! We killed Thanos, remember? And it saved you! you know, come to think of it, I wish the Forge had never brought you back. Yeah. I am Groot. This should have brought someone else. Anyone else back instead. You don't mean that, Rocket. Now you telling me what I don't mean. Man, the ego on you. I meant every damn word. I am Groot. Have a nice night. Well, that's... One way to clear his emotional unrest. I am Groot. Calm down. Drax, how are you doing? I am hopeful the Forge can bring my family back, if you choose to use it. Well, 
I... So I must trust you would not take away my chance to reunite with my wife and daughter, even though you did not behave in a trustworthy manner. Huh? You used that antenna woman's powers without permission. It was wrong of you to do that, even if the tree did not mind. Come on, it wasn't that bad. Was it? Our feelings are our own. They belong to us alone. I just wanted to get to know everyone better. We're all so secretive. We should, we should open up more. Secrets should be shared willingly, not stolen. Whoa. That was, uh... That was really deep, Drax. Her ability to see into our emotions. It must be difficult. I would not wish to know the pain of others as well as my own. Thank you for checking in on me, Peter. You may leave now. Okay? The hell was that? I tried to say everything I could think of. I thought maybe if I asked her to stick around for a while. Ugh. She won't hear it. Not from me. She'll barely even look at me. So don't give up on her. Family is always worth it. I know. I'm really trying. I just can't find the right words with her. But maybe, maybe if we had more time, I could try talking to her again when she's calmed down. Give her some space without losing her altogether. Well, they say time heals all wounds. Who's they? I have no idea. Maybe I can get her to hang around. Just, maybe not right now. Think she needs some alone time. How about now? Not that I can tell. There's still... something blocking me. Nebula? Yeah, uh, hey, it's me, <laughs> Peter Quill, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yeah, but you know that. You mind if I sit? Cool, yeah, this is, uh, this is really... How's the arm? It's not bad. Would have come in handy to have both arms while fighting off the Kree. I suppose I'm lucky you let me out at all. So, thanks, I guess. Like I said, then. It was just a trust exercise. You passed. Pretty sure Gamora still needs convincing. Speaking of my dear sister, bet you got an earful. What'd she say about me? That I'm a waste of space. That I deserve everything I've been through. Gamora says she still cares about you. She sure has a funny way of showing it. Gamora doesn't even realize that she's the reason our family ended. Yeah, well, that's not how it looked to me. What do you mean? When we were in the temple, I saw Gamora's memory of your last mission. Oh, yeah? What did you see? She saved your life from that Kree general dude. I mean, he would have killed you if Gamora hadn't stepped in. No, he wouldn't have. You have no idea what really happened that day. And neither does Gamora. Not all of it, at least. 
Then show me. Now, please take my hand. If this kills me, I'm going to kick your ass. Is everything all right? What's going on? Everything is fine. Don't worry about it. Everything's fine. That's not what it looked like. Nebula! Come here! Nebula. My favorite daughter. Father. Your attacks against your sister were swift, precise. You disarmed Gamora easily. I was impressed. I don't think I won on my own. Gamora let me win. Because she is a coward. She could not face true defeat. Don't let her weakness diminish your strength. There is something you must know about Gamora. She said she would not disappoint me. But I am not so sure. Every day she grows more agitated and bitter as she watches you surpass her. You've seen her lack of respect. She disobeys me time and time again. I no longer trust her. You shouldn't trust her either, Nebula. Gamora has become a risk to our family. I know she's been difficult, but... Gamora won't fail you, Father. I caution you to be careful with your sister. That is all I ask. If she continues to be a problem, you might take her place. Stand by my side as my greatest warrior and only daughter. Gamora makes herself more useless, more unreliable with each passing day. Where she fails, you thrive. Father, I need Gamora. She's my teacher and my sister. You underestimate yourself, Nebula. This mission will prove that. This is your moment. Go and prepare. Keep your communications open. I'll be monitoring the situation. Nebula! Nebula, are you alright? Are you hurt? Why? Why did you do that? What? I had him! That was my kill and you took it from me! I won't tell Thanos, I promise. We'll keep it to ourselves. Nebula! Father! You don't need Gamora anymore. And neither do I. If you don't get rid of her, I will do it myself. Only I will ensure that your sister suffers greatly. Give me the device. Nebula, what are you doing? You took my kill. Give me the device in exchange. Give it to me, now! I'm not asking here. Fine, here. Hey, it's going to be fine. 
We're going to be okay. Over. She showed me your last mission together. I tried to show him what really happened with Tarval, but you interrupted us. I'm sorry. I... I didn't know what was going on. But you naturally assumed the worst. What do you expect after everything that's happened? Hey! She was always pushing against Thanos, testing his limits. What happened was her fault. Yeah. I practically shoved that knife into my own gut. Too bad I had such terrible aim. Some assassin. Gamora, you are. I wasn't trying to kill you. Oh, yeah? Then what were you doing? Because it looked exactly like you were trying to kill me. Thanos said if she didn't do it, he'd do it himself. Only he'd make you suffer. It's true, Gamora. I saved your Admit life! Admit it. You just wanted to prove you were better than me. By killing if me. I wanted to kill you, you'd be dead! Thanos was going to kill you himself. There would have been nothing left of you. Do you know? I even checked your pulse, just to make sure you were still alive. You never got to see that part. The most important part. But I did. That doesn't make any sense. I'm kind of believing her here, Gamora. If she hadn't fake killed you, I'm... Pretty sure Thanos would have been a lot more thorough. It's... Possible. I don't know what to believe. I'm just trying to keep us together. You're my family. Oh, so you finally agree with me about something. What a surprise! I'm just as surprised as you. I figured you'd disagree with me just because that's what you do. Well, I'm not used to you saying anything I'd ever Maybe agree you with. just aren't listening. Guys! Guys! Stop! You both want the same thing! He's... Actually, right. It happens. Sometimes. Uh, more than sometimes. Thank you. Maybe we could... give each other a chance? All right. Peter, I can finally sense the shrine. Okay. Let's go. Well, it isn't my favorite assassin sisters. <laughs> wow, that'd be a pretty rad band name. Hey, Peter. Give me one second. I'll meet you in my room. Sure. Quill. Thank you for talking to Nebula. It means a lot to have her here. It gives me hope. Uh, what are you... What? I don't know, is that a dagger? Is it... What do you got, a throwing star? There? Whatever, you got something pokey on your hip. I do not usually hug. You're a good friend, Peter. Uh, hey, Pete. Uh, I threw some mean words your way back there, and I, uh... I just... I wanted to apologize, you know? So, yeah. Sorry about that. I just, uh, I got worked up, you know? This whole forge thing, it's kind of a lot for me to deal with. Hey, don't even worry about it, man. Best friends forever? Yeah, at least until death. It's close enough. Bring you 
supreme joy! And also such sadness. You are a very nostalgic person. <laughs> Hey, hey, whoa, what's the matter? What? Why are you crying? Why am I crying? Oh, God. That little box brings you so much sorrow. Oh, God. I'm sorry for that. Sometimes emotions overwhelm me and reflect back onto others. Yeah, that's cool. <clears throat> I'm cool. I'm cool. Okay. Everyone on this ship is so poisoned by their feelings, overly focused on the past, not living here, in the now, experiencing all the wonderful things around you. Well, it's hard to let go of the past. It makes you who you are. I can see that, but I don't want to be defined by what came before. Everyone should be able to correct the course they're on. Thank you for letting me listen to your music. It made me feel better and worse at the same time. I loved it. Hey, Mantis, can you direct me to that magic shrine thing now? Of course, but it is a long way and I must concentrate completely. There can be no, there can be no distraction. Distractions. I'll see what I can do.
The entrance to the shrine. This is it. Yay! Another temple! <sighs> the Kree were not only skilled warriors. You can find great symbolism in much of their architecture. Yeah, yeah, they like pretty things. We get it. Now what, Pete? Mantis? Any pointers? It appears the forge goes there. On the altar. Seriously? Well, that was anticlimactic. Relic in place. Check. There must be something else to it. Hey guys, have a look around. See if you can find anything that looks off. Mm, I am Groot. Of course something's wrong, because we're in a freaking Creed temple, where everything is always more complicated than it needs to be. I mean, ain't they ever heard of an on switch? Anything? The forge led me here, but has grown quiet. How do you know I'll make the right choice about the forge? I do not know that. Oh. You are the wielder of the Eternity Forge. It chose you. You must trust there's a reason. Yeah. Okay. No pressure at all. So, what now? Repair the statues. Determine the fate of the universe. Oh, is that all? So, uh, are you glad you stayed with Gamora? Yes. I think staying close to my sister is what's best for both of us. I hope so. Because otherwise I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get the blame.
How you holding up, buddy? I am Groot. Yeah, well, don't get your hopes up. He could still do the right thing and decide not to destroy the most useful artifact in the universe. No matter what I decide about the Eternity Forge, you've got my back, right? I am Groot. Is that a yes? Or a no? I am Groot. about to seal the fate of the Eternity Forge. Yes. Your decision will leave you despised by much of the team. Good pep talk. Thanks, Drax. No matter what you choose. Yep, you can stop now. I think I see the problem. The alignment is all out of whack. I'll whack it back so we can get on with it. saying hey rocket tell Groot I need some help with the lens thingy okay okay I am Groot Good job, buddy. That forge is gonna be resurrected in no time. I am Groot. He says you might destroy it. That he hopes you do. Is that really what he said? One more to go. Something tells me it's not gonna be easy. How are you holding up, Groot? I am Groot. I don't know. Hey, is that some kind of joke? Huh? Oh, cuz, right. He's holding up the thing that's... No, it wasn't a pun. He's just an idiot. Once we get all these statues working, are you ready for whatever happens next? That depends on you, Pete. You know how much bringing Lila back means to me. And only you can make that happen. How's it going, Gamora? In a few minutes, we're gonna have to decide the fate of the Eternity Forge. Not we. You. For whatever reason, this is all in your hands. You know I think this thing is dangerous. So please, make sure no one can use it. Ever.
Okay, let's see. This big guy used to stand here, holding up that giant whatever it is thingy. Then things go bad. Age sets in. Oh no, I dropped it! Ah! So where did it go? There it goes! Just a hologram. I know. What now, Celestial One? This thing really took a hit when that lens smashed into it. It might still be intact under there. That's what I'm counting on. Oh, come on. Stupid jet boots overheated. Drax, I need your muscles. You cannot have them. They are attached to me. No, I know they... Uh, I need your help. I've got to lift something very heavy. Ah, I see. You are weak. I will help you. I am ready. to death ain't on my list of to-dos, Pete. I'm sure if you just reach really hard, you, you could get it. Maybe dislocating your shoulder or something? I cannot fail. Please, Rocket, I need you. Ah, all right. When I get smushed, I better be first in line for some resurrection. Stop. But there is still no statue upon which to set it. I would have gotten the lens, guys. I was just, you know, working up to it. Yep. We just gotta, you know, work together. Oh, you mean like a team? What a novel idea. Yes. Teamwork often brings good feelings. Hmm. Perhaps we are doing it wrong, Ben. Okay, listen up. I need everyone over here. Nope, not gonna happen. Just a little higher! My arms can't go any Your higher! muscles are soft. Shut up. Guys, stop talking- Like a baby's bottom. Shut up. No! That's my face! A very fat baby. Sorry. Hey, what do I know about- Whatever you are, anatomy. Idiots. Maybe your people enjoy having their faces stepped on. It's done. That mean I can drop this thing? These freaking temples. I'm gonna take dynamite to all of them. Now it is truly time to decide.
Turn the forge to the left to destroy it forever. Turn the forge to the right to empower it and bring it to its full potential. Okay. Wait, his right or your right? Oh. Hmm. I don't know. What? what? Let me see. Wow. I can't believe that almost happened. Turn it this way to destroy it. Turn it this... Yeah, we got it. Turn it to the right, Pete. It's left, Peter. You want your left. Peter, you must turn it left. No! It's right to empower you, idiot. Oh, yes. Go right, Peter. I am Groot! Destroying the Forge is the only way we can keep it from hurting people. Don't listen to her. Think of your mom. Think of Lila. I am Groot. Shut up already! He's gonna use it! I promise you my undying loyalty if you bring my family back to me. Don't you see, Peter? Everyone wants this power, and no one should have it. I'm sorry. But this thing is way too powerful for anyone to wield. We gotta destroy it. Thank you, Peter. You don't know anything about me, lady. Perhaps she has never lost a loved one. She has only killed the loved ones of others. Drax! You don't talk like that to my sister. I will talk to Gamora in whatever manner I please, robot. I am Groot. Oh, yeah? And what would you know about it? You're a freaking piece of wood! The process has begun. Anything. You can release I it. I am Groot. You can't even communicate on your own. Think I like translating for you every single I time? I am Groot. Now you're gonna start. Drax, back me up. You are all horrible people. No offense, Drax, but wisdom isn't your strong suit either. Guys, we got company. Thank you, Peter Quill. I never could have found this shrine without you. And the tracking device genes are placed on your ship. You know, I didn't think you could get more annoying than that time you killed me. <laughs> you really suck. Their usefulness has expired. Dispose of them. I've had about enough of this. God, boots are more busted than I thought. How you like me now, huh? <laughs> huh? No, 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 no! <laughs> Depths, blue demon. He knows he can just let go, right? Stop the rodent! 
big blue lady. Not the first time. Intriguing. Can you let me have a minute? Sheesh. Now, where was I? Well, that was surprisingly easy. Hang on, buddy, I got gotcha. you. <gasps> Sorry to have made you sad. Oh, we should do this more often. Looks like the boys could use some help. This won't be easy. Hope not. Forge is no more. Hope you're happy, Quill. You did what needed to be done. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. You 
took everything from me. I will destroy you and all that you love. <laughs> 